On this episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your Frame Meister to get the best possible picture out of the PlayStation 2 game console. First, you need a component video cable. There were a couple different first party cables and tons of third party options, so securing one of these should be cheap and easy. As of the making of this video, you can still buy a cable at Best Buy and other retail stores. Thankfully, all PlayStation 2 game consoles support component video output, so you don't need to hunt down a specific model. You'll also need a D-Terminal to component adapter, as the Framemeister does not have a component input. Many PS2 games also support 480p, which can be enabled by holding down the triangle and X buttons as the PlayStation 2 boots up. Unfortunately, a large portion of the library is limited to 480i, which is kind of a bummer. And that's pretty much it. Now is also a good time to mention you can switch between 16x9 and 4x3 aspect ratios right on the Framemeister's remote, so you don't need to fumble around the menus when playing different games. So with that, here are the settings that I use. Please note, for the PS2 games that run in 480i, you'll want to use the natural image mode. For 480p games, stick with the picture mode. One of the XRGB Mini's few weak points are its handling of 480p content. However, it is still an awesome deinterlacer for 480i games, and these settings should give you an excellent picture on the big screen. 